We all must reach across the gap of suspicion and misunderstanding to win the battle against our own prejudice and moral apathy and what the great American writer and civil rights champion James Baldwin called the death of the heart. Because as young people, isn't that why you're here? You are your nation's hope. It's a cliche, I, I know that, but it's also a truth. The world relies on the young and the young at heart. It always has. 52 years ago, one of my heroes, Senator Robert Kennedy, visited apartheid South Africa in the University of Cape Town and delivered his famous Ripples of Hope speech and then apartheid South Africa. And Kennedy said, the world demands the qualities of youth, not a time of life, but a state of mind, a temper of will, a quality of imagination, a predominance of courage over timidity, of the appetite for adventure over the love of ease. It is from numerous diverse acts of courage and belief that human history is shaped. Each time a man or woman stands up for an ideal or to improve the lot of others or strikes out against injustice, they send forth a tiny ripple of hope in crossing each other from a million different centers of energy and daring these ripples build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. Give me a place to stand at our committees and I will move the world. And while few may have the greatness to bend the history itself, each of you can change a small portion of events and the total of those acts will be written in the history of your generation. So share your energy and enthusiasm your compassion and kindness and love. Don't be hard. The least of us can be cynical. And on December 30th, you celebrate once again your improbable experiment in democracy. And remember, in this country and in my country, it was a small band of patriots, radicals, revolutionaries, young people, that changed the world. And you will hear from time to time the familiar lament from those who witness injustice. Alas, there was nothing I could do. They could, they chose not to. Baldwin wrote, I still believe in this country we can do something that has not been done. We are misled because we think of numbers. You don't need numbers, you need passion. And this is proven by the history of the world. So get out there and engage. As the Greek poet Pendar said, O oh my soul, do not aspire for immortal life, but exhaust the limits of the possible. And after you've gone through a debate like this, after you've engaged on stage, with that energy, what can't you do, right? Bring me giants. I'm going to be a storm of flame. I need to fight whole armies alone. I have ten hearts. I have a hundred arms. I feel too strong to war with mortals. Bring me giants. So I am proud of you. I hope you're proud of each other. One, don't about. Win with peace. And now I want the two finalist teams who we're going to announce here shortly to join me on stage for a photo. So thank you again for the honor of letting me speak and congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador.